Hello, my lovely earth signs. It is your turn to get your daily reading. I have green light today. I am in Halloween mood. I am ready. I hope you guys are ready for today's reading because it's going to be magical. I am using the brand new deck that I got. I love it so much. I've been playing around with it yesterday all day. I will also use these. I will also use this uh, deck for uh, energy card. Um, it is in the unboxing video I did it with Kiri. But it's magical. So let's see what is the energy card for uh, sign today. What do they need to know? What is coming you guys' way? Oh, we have a lot of cards here. So I'm going to take um, this card, um, the water card is here as well, so water, remember that the water is here because that it's cleansing. So for you guys also like the water signs, maybe you are even dealing with a water sign because it, uh, did you come up in the water reading? I think you did. The water is here to cleanse out everything that's no longer serving you. It's very calming, it's all about speaking, it's all about being true to yourself, also being kind to your body. And I will say, now that you have the seer reversed, this is here to make you understand that you are a little bit in a denial. There's something that you need to realize in the situation that you are in, because you are not seeing it clearly. You might have the, you know, a lot of water what do you call that? You might be in a bubble of water. Because when we are on the water, we don't hear clearly. And I do feel that you, you are not connected with the universe. Because there's something in your life that you are denying. There's something that you are not seeing correctly or there's something that you don't hear. You need to see the truth in the situation that you are in. It's very spiritual. There's something that you really don't, there's something that you refuse to see. And the seer is here to give you his power for you to actually like remove that bubble of water that you have around your head because you really need to realize what you are in or what it is that you don't see. This can be in a relationship, this can be in a job. Like are you together with someone that you actually love? Why is it you're together with this person? And I think that we have had this in another video, actually. In another is um, reading. We have one card already. We have the Six of Swords. Someone here might be in denial. But it might also be because that someone is trying to make you in denial. Or put you in denial. So we have the, don't even say what we have here. The King of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles. So you guys really are dealing with another earth sign or air sign. We have the Two of Wands. I know why you have the denial card, denial card because for you, you're here now, you have the Ten of Swords. In your future, you have the ace card reversed. And remember that upright, this is the yes card. This is the no card. Some of you guys are dealing with a water sign because someone here is, offer you, is going to offer you something that's not real. No. But it's someone who is good at packing it in. Like, you know, putting a lot of magic around it so that it looks pretty. You have the three of wands, you have the ace of cups, and you have the... Eight of Cups. You are waiting for someone to make a decision. And I do feel that you are going to turn away from that. And you are going to go in the direction of someone, something new. Someone might give you something that looks very, very pretty. It does actually look like the, the water sign reading. You might be dealing with a water sign. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. You might be in a relationship with someone that you feel like it's very cute and very good, but 
if you dig deep, it's not because it might be someone who has the tendency. You might be together with someone who has this tendency to be angry, possessive. Someone who has the tendency to pinch you sometimes. This year, you need to look deep. Also, again, the water. Some of you guys are dealing with a water sign. What is it that you need to see around you? Also because at the bottom of the deck you do have the Knight of Cups reversed. There's a lot of reverse cards. There's a lot of passive cards. The only upright cards that you have are these two. There is so much stocked energy and now that you have so many reverse cards, this is a bigger lesson for you. But it's a lesson that you clearly didn't take as a lesson. Some of you guys are really staying in a relationship that's not working for you. Or you're dealing with a person that's that just keeps <laughs> not giving you what it is that you actually deserve. I do really feel that you guys realize that someone from your past didn't have the best intentions for you. It was empty promises and it's like they actually drag you on a boat of pity and disappointments. It's like you didn't go anywhere and you realize that because in the past you have the two of wands but it's reversed. It's like you actually took the steps to to trust a person and you were very close to actually give them everything but then you realize that they are not going to be able to give you what it is that you deserve you might have been dealing with, with again it can be an air sign but it can also be a water sign because there's a lot of water here especially with this there is a lot in the past there has been a lot of hidden things with this person and with the with the here and now, there's the King of Pentacles. So you might be dealing with someone who is very like, like, like pessimistic, and someone who is very like egocentric. Like they they really haven't been nice to you at all. But again, it's like in the, in the future, they're going to come back with a new offer. Like, well, hey, I'm back. And they are not going to realize that they actually hurt you. Big time. I'm going to take more cards for whoever you are dealing with. That is too many cards. You are dealing with a water sign because this came up in the water sign reading. This is the false promise. Um, I mean, the card doesn't mean that, but in the the water sign reading, this was a false promise because it was next to the devil. So, yeah, we are back with a new battery. <laughs> God damn it. I can't remember what I talked about. This person is going to come back into your life. But it's again, it's not going to be what you actually think it is. I will try to get more information. Yeah. I mean, death reversed is actually not a good sign. Because this is death. This is like, yeah, they're coming with an offer. But again, if you think about that in the water sign reading, we had the devil. Here we have um, we have the death card. If you're dealing with a water sign or a earth sign, they are not going to offer you anything that's good. Now that we have a scorp now that we have a Scorpio, now that we have death cards, some of you guys dealing with a Scorpio. It's like someone who is pretty sweet on the outside, but if you're alone with this person, they do have their tiny freakouts. It's like it's a it's a person who who is too who has two personalities. 
And I mean, hello, the seer. It's like you need to realize a see what it is that you don't want to see. Because for some reason you paint a very, very pretty picture in this relationship or in whoever it is that you are together with. It doesn't have to be someone that you are together with, but it can be someone that you... Someone who put you to a third party situation. Someone who keeps coming back to you and then letting you fall and coming back to you and letting you fall. And you didn't see anything else than false promises in the past. There's been a lot of false promises, a lot of like, I'm going to take you to the world and then no. And you are sick and tired of that because again, the Ten of Swords. You might really go through a big heartbreak at the moment. I will take um, more cards. Yeah, someone has been con having a control over you. If you, and I will say this very, with a big, and the candle is died. There's so many signs here. If you are in an abusive relationship, or if you are together with someone who's controlling you, you need to get out of that. Because this is not good. Maybe some of you guys are dealing with the Aries. No. And I will say that you will say no. I will say that you say no in the, in the future. Because this is in the future. You're going to say no to this. If you're in a relationship with this person, you're going to find a way out. Also because this is like a little escape card. This is escaping from something that's actually bad. So some of you guys are really in it with someone who's not good. I do feel it might be someone who, I mean, yeah, someone who doesn't show this on the outside. You choose the sun, you choose the new. I mean, look at this. I just saw a 3G3. Might be a sign for some of you guys. <clears throat> You're done with this. This is what you want now. I will see what is raining for you because maybe this is another water sign coming into your life. And you earth signs, you do fit well together with water signs. This card landed on uh, the, uh, the Empress, the Reverse Empress. Because yes, it's like, do you want to have more signs? <laughs> this is not a give and take uh, situation. You're together with someone or you're dealing with someone who's not making you grow. Not at all. But I did want to have a card for the Ace of Wands. A small card falling down here. Yep. <laughs> yep. You are becoming your own Queen of Pentacles. This is you. Walking away from the fight. Being like, whatever dude. Whatever girl. <coughs> I am choosing to go through my own growth. For some of you guys who might not choose love, you might just choose to walk away from what's not working anymore. And this is like, you know that it might have been love in the past, but you still choose to walk away from it. I mean, you might still love this person. Let's see if we can get something else. Whoa! Look what's waiting for you. I mean... <laughs> whoa. That is pretty badass. The universe is taking over now. The universe is sending you a soulmate, a new soulmate. I mean, now that this is um, the lovers, some of you guys might be dealing with a Gemini, or it can be a new Gemini coming into your life. But again, it can also be a new water sign, because we do have new, a lot of water here. Whoa, science. <clears throat> I mean, if you're dealing with an abusive person, you need to let that go. Remember what the seer said to you. It's your time to finally take the the googles, the goggles off. <laughs> the googles. <laughs> God, sometimes I will take this. Whoa. I do believe that the water sign got this card as well. That is crazy. 
let go and enjoy. It might have been a slight different, but it was this card, like let go and something. That is crazy. I mean, some of you guys are dealing with water signs. Scorpios. <laughs> I mean, the death card is here, so. And Scorpios have the tendency to be controlling. They do have the tendency to you know, I mean, again, it depends on the person, but they can be controlling and they can be very aggressive if things doesn't turn out as they want. But this is going to be everything for you guys today. I hope that you could use today's messages. Please let me know in the comment below. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video.